Hello, uh, I just want to go over a quick tip on how I put domes on either handles or knobs or anything here like this dome here. I'll just show you how I do that pretty quick and um, also there's the dome tool here which works great on a cylinder but it has to be just a basic round shape so it definitely won't work here. So um, first I'm going to go and I'm going to extrude this. And I select what I want to extrude and uh, let's get a normal height here. And that looks good. I'm going to say OK. And then I'm going to go into my uh, top plane and sketch on that. And I'm going to put a, first I'm going to put a line in the center. And then we put another line, well, we put a three point arc. There. Say OK. And I'm going to put one more line here to close it off. And then I'm going to put a construction line here. And I'm going to first anchor this point. And then this is what I do on all my, whenever you want something that revolves you need to make sure this is tangent so it makes a nice revolve no point or nothing so you select that and you control select this and say tangent and now it's tangent and I'll just pull it back to the height I want and so I'm done with that sketch so I'll clear out of that and press uh, revolve and I'll revolve this around and I'm going to untick merge results for now and say OK. And then now on this plane, I'm going to sketch and I'm going to convert entities and then I'm going to finish that sketch. And now I'm going to extrude and flip side to cut. And now I want to say OK. And there we have it. And that makes what I was looking for. And now I'll just um, go into my unite or combine and combine this with this and say OK. And that's it. And that's the look I was looking for to have that little dome effect. Um, thank you very much. I hope this taught you something. Have a good day.